New at noon, the Fed raising interest rates by 0.75 percent. That's the largest rate increase in decades, and it's meant to slow rising inflation. Skylar Henry with more on that decision. Higher interest rates make it more expensive to borrow money. That, in turn, means many people will eventually spend less. That leads to a drop in demand for goods which should lower inflation. But the Fed has to proceed cautiously. If they raise rates by too much or too quickly, they run the risk of slowing things down so much that we tip into a recession. In Philadelphia Tuesday, the president acknowledged the impact inflation has had on Americans, with the average U.S. family spending nearly $350 more per month to buy the same amount of goods they bought last year. Inflation. It's sapping the strength of a lot of families. Inflation is also sapping the president's poll numbers, something Republicans are quick to pounce on in this election year. We hit a few new records this last week. Of course, inflation is at another 40-year high. And we had another record with gas prices hitting $5 a gallon. This morning, President Biden sent these letters to American oil refineries, urging them to produce more gas and questioning the record profits. In March, the price per barrel of oil was about $120 per barrel, like it is today. But in March, we were paying $4.25 per gallon of gasoline. Today, we're paying over five. So there's a 75 cent increase. What is going on there? In addition to increased domestic production, the U.S. is calling on global manufacturers to increase production as well. The U.S. is the world leader in oil and gas production, with Saudi Arabia second. The White House has announced President Biden will travel to Saudi Arabia next month. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And some more perspective for you here. This rate increase translates to about $75 per year more on every $10,000 in debt.